2018 Ford EcoSport. 2018 Ford EcoSport Review on The Value Rick EcoSport Small Crossover is the newest addition to Ford's SUV lineup. Get ready for another crossover SUV in Ford's lineup. Eyeing the burgeoning success of subcompacts such as the Chevrolet Trax and the Honda HRV, Ford has dipped into its global cash to bring you the 2018 EcoSport. Already on sale in other countries, the EcoSport is indeed a small utility vehicle, it's nearly a foot and a half shorter than the Escape. Inside, you notice the difference in cargo capacity. The Escape boasts 34 cubic feet of space behind the rear seats, while the EcoSport makes do with just 20.9 cubic feet about 2 cubes fewer than a Focus hatchback. Among pin size crossovers, though, the EcoSport's cargo area is actually one of the largest in its class. Ford has you covered if you're looking for the latest entertainment technology. Almost all EcoSport trim levels are equipped with a large central touchscreen powered by the excellent Sync 3 infotainment system featuring Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration. Unfortunately, there's not as much a priority on advanced safety equipment. A standard rear view camera and optional blind spot monitor are the only modern day driver aids you'll find. Another possible downside is the EcoSport's available engines. A turbocharged three cylinder with front wheel drive is standard, while a slightly more powerful four cylinder is paired with all wheel drive. We've tested the three cylinder in a Fiesta and Focus in the past, and, to be frank, it's slow. A Focus powered by this engine took a lethargic 10.6 seconds to accelerate from a stop to 60 miles per hour. It's going to be even pokier in the larger, heavier EcoSport, especially if you have passengers in tow. Performance gains with the four-cylinder might be a wash considering the added weight of the AWD powertrain. Overall, though, the EcoSport looks to be a viable pick for a subcompact crossover SUV in 2018. What's new? The Ford EcoSport is all new for 2018. The say is the sweet spot of the EcoSport lineup, packing a bunch of features into this small crossover. It's more expensive than the base level S, but in return you get more features plus greater access to option packages. If you're thinking of adding the convenience package, you might as well step up to the titanium or SES. It's included on both trims. Just note that the price of a fully loaded EcoSport is going to be close to roomier small crossovers, such as Ford's Escape. The EcoSport's 2.0-liter engine is a must if you frequently carry passengers. Trim Levels and Features The 2018 Ford EcoSport is a five-passenger subcompact crossover that slots below the Escape and Ford's SUV lineup. The EcoSport S is pretty well equipped with available all-wheel drive and most basic amenities you will want from a modern car. The say is quite a bit pricier, but its list of added features is extensive. From there, buyers can go in one of two ways, the sport-themed SES, adding the EcoSport's upgraded engine and standard all-wheel drive, or the luxurious titanium, with leather upholstery and a Bang & Olufsen premium sound system. EcoSport S Say and titanium models with front wheel drive are powered by a turbocharged 1.0 liter 3 cylinder engine 123 horsepower, 125 pound feet of torque. Optional for those models and standard on the SES is all wheel drive and a 2.0 liter 4 cylinder engine 166 horsepower, 149 lbft. Both engines are paired to a 6 speed automatic transmission. The short list of standard equipment on the base S model is indicative of its modest price. Features include 16-inch alloy wheels, automatic headlights, hill start assist, remote locking and unlocking, full power accessories, a rear view camera, air conditioning, cruise control, a driver information display, a tilt and telescoping steering wheel, high adjustable front seats, 60-40 split rear seats, a cargo cover a removable cargo floor panel, front floor mats, Bluetooth, a 4.2-inch central display screen, and a 6-speaker audio system with two USB ports. Upgrading to the SE equips the EcoSport with LED running lights, fog lights, body-colored exterior accents, roof rails, 
rear privacy glass, rear parking sensors, a sunroof, keyless entry and ignition, dual zone automatic climate control, an upgraded driver information display, a leather wrapped steering wheel and shift knob, a six way power adjustable driver seat with manual lumber, heated front seats, upgraded cloth upholstery, rear floor mats, a 6.5 inch touchscreen with a SYNC 3 interface, satellite radio, and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto functionality. 17 inch wheels are available as a standalone option. The SAIS optional convenience package further adds blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert, interior ambient lighting, a navigation system, an 8 inch touch screen, a 7 speaker audio system, and a 110 volt household style power outlet. The SES is the somewhat sporty variant. It has the contents of a convenience package and the 2.0 liter engine and combo along with 17-inch wheels, a sport-tuned suspension, black exterior styling elements, automatic wipers, an auto-dimming rear-view mirror, steering wheel mounted shift paddles, leather upholstery with cloth inserts, and blind spot monitoring with rear cross-traffic alert. The Lux Titanium builds off the contents of the Say with convenience package, further adding 17-inch wheels, body-colored bumpers, heated mirrors, automatic wipers, an auto-dimming rear-view mirror, leather upholstery, blind spot monitoring, and a 10-speaker Bang & Olufsen premium audio system with HD radio. A cold weather package is available on all trims except the S, adding the heated mirrors, a heated steering wheel, a windshield wiper deasser and floor mats. A keyless entry keypad and remote engine start are standalone options on every trim level. Trim tested. Has not yet driven any version of this vehicle. The following is our first take on what's significant about it and what you can expect. Driving. We haven't yet tested the EcoSport with either engine, but we've driven the turbocharged three cylinder in other Fords. Though it's somewhat enjoyable in smaller vehicles, we expect it to be outmatched in this heavier crossover. Comfort. The front seat's lack of lateral bolstering suggests the EcoSport is more concerned with Eco than Sport. Dual zone climate control and heated front seats are standard on the mid-trade say. Selecting the cold weather package adds a heated steering wheel. Interior. The interior appears to have ample amounts of hard plastic, but that's the norm in this price class. The SES adds orange trim throughout the cabin making it more visually interesting than the standard monochrome interior. Utility. The rear hatch is hinged on the left side, so you won't have to worry about opening it in a low-roofed parking structure. It also helps while loading items from the curbside. The cargo area is larger than that of many rivals, but it's noticeably smaller than in the next size class up. Technology. Every model except the Base S comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and a central touchscreen with the excellent SYNC 3 interface. Blind spot monitoring is available, but there are no other advanced driver aids.